Welcome to Tech Blueprint, a window that lets you know the latest technology news in the world. Chinese domestic chip substitution is currently a focus of much attention. Domestic chip substitution still faces some difficulties in many industries, but in the server chip industry, domestic chip substitution is real and has achieved more than 60% market share. Intel is being rapidly squeezed in this market. The server chip market was once a long-term monopoly of Intel. In recent years, even though it has been surpassed by AMD in the desktop PC processor market, Intel still has more than 80% market share in the server chip market outside of China, highlighting Intel's strong position in the server chip market. Enterprises are reluctant to replace server chips of other brands easily because server chips emphasize stability and reliability more than other industries. The reputation and ecosystem that Intel has established in the server chip market over the years have made companies such as data centers that use a large number of server chips dare not easily replace them. However, the Chinese market is different. The prison gate many years ago made China deeply aware of the importance of information security, so it has been pushing for the implementation of domestic substitution of server chips, so that China's server chip substitution has been promoted earlier and faster. The operating system also helps domestic server chips replace Intel. The operators of server operating systems are engineers. Engineers are different from ordinary consumers. They are more professional and can quickly become familiar with domestic operating systems. Therefore, Domestic server operating systems have quickly replaced imported systems. It is reported that domestic server operating systems will have a 70% market share in 2023, and Microsoft's share in the server operating system market has been squeezed to 20%. Domestic server chip companies are also actively striving for this market. At present, domestic server chip companies include Kuanping, Haiguang, Shenwei, and Lungsen. Among them, Kuanping is the strongest it has obtained 37% of the market share, and Haiguang has obtained 18% of the share. The competition among many domestic server chip companies has given domestic companies a variety of choices for purchasing server chips. They have squeezed Intel's share in the server chip market to about 39%. In addition to server chips, domestic chip substitution has also made great progress in industries such as home appliance chips and analog chips. Home appliance chips can even meet the micro-level process, and analog chips can be produced using mature processes that have been mass-produced in China, which provides strong support for domestic chips. Domestic storage chips have also made breakthroughs. Since the second half of last year, China's storage chips have once again launched a price war to grab the market. The prices of domestic memory sticks, solid-state drives, etc. are 30% to 40% lower than those of foreign chip companies. The affordable prices make many domestic consumers willing to choose domestic storage products. The substitution of domestic chips has greatly reduced China's chip imports. In 2023, 
China's chip imports will be around 350 billion US dollars. A decrease of 90 billion US dollars from 440 billion US dollars in 2021. China's reduction in chip imports has put pressure on some overseas companies. And what makes them even more uncomfortable is that China's mature chips are entering the international market. In 2024, China's chip exports exceeded 1 trillion renminbi, which is the first time that China's chip exports have exceeded 1 trillion renminbi. China's mature chips have been recognized by overseas companies. In addition to reaching the level of American chips in terms of technology, the more advantageous price is 20% to 30% cheaper than similar chips from Texas Instruments. China's mature chips have seized the market share of American chips such as Texas Instruments in domestic and foreign markets, causing their inventory to surge and profits to decline. Earlier, it was reported that Russian missiles used a large number of chips from Texas Instruments and Broadcom, while the United States banned the sale of chips to Russia, showing that American chip companies have had to enter markets that the United States does not want them to enter in order to clear their inventory. Of course, American chips will not admit that they are so-called third-party chips. The experience of American chip companies that mainly develop mature chips has been seen by other chip companies. NVIDIA executives recently pointed out that if the United States further restricts the sale of AI chips to the Chinese market, the result will only be disadvantageous to American chip companies. China also has its own AI chips, but it is difficult to replace domestic AI chips because of NVIDIA's ecosystem. However, if the United States completely prevents NVIDIA from selling AI chips to China, it will force Chinese companies to adopt domestic AI chips and then form a domestic AI chip ecosystem. NVIDIA may lose the Chinese market like Texas Instruments. In short, domestic server chips have replaced Intel to obtain 60% of the market, and domestic operating systems have also quickly replaced imports. Domestic storage chips compete in price wars, and mature chips are recognized overseas. Chip imports have decreased, and exports have exceeded 1 trillion yuan. American chip companies are under increasing pressure due to competition in the Chinese market.